Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. So today's video, we are gonna do some makeup. We're gonna have a little chat. I feel like there's a lot of things. There's a lot of feelings and I feel like I just wanna sit, do some makeup, talk. Consider it makeup therapy. My last makeup video, I was torn between doing the Sabrina Carpenter look, which we ended up doing, or like a grungy bleach brow look. So today we're doing the bleach brows. I did this the other night for an event, so I feel like I've already had like a trial run in. Also purposely not dyed my eyebrows, so. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom you in and get started on my base. I'm just filming in natural light today, so I'm really hoping it's not gonna start raining, go really dark, but probably will. Starting with primer, this is a brand new product from NYX. This is the face glue. It's obviously in a little PVA glue bottle, really cute. I love a fun makeup packaging. I've actually not used this at all yet. So let's give it a go. Last time I tried a primer for the first time, I hated it and it ruined my makeup. So I'm once again playing with fire. So this is supposedly gluey, obviously. Very sticky. Apparently gonna keep my makeup on all day. And I actually do need my makeup to stay on for quite a long time today. So it doesn't smell like glue, which is good. Blending in nicely. It feels kind of almost just like a gel moisturizer kind of finish. Feeling I may have actually done way too much because it's gonna go sticky. And I feel like everything in the universe is gonna stick to my face. I definitely feel it starting to go tacky as it's drying down. We will see. I saw people literally sticking things to their face with it and I just feel like I want to do that. Oh. <laughs> okay. I stand corrected. That's kind of nice because it doesn't actually feel like disgustingly sticky. So going on to my base, I want to keep the base quite minimal. I want a lot of focus on the eyes and the brows. I feel a bleach brow really lends itself to quite like an undone stripped down makeup. So for base, I'm going to take the Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint. This is the shade. That's good. It's completely completely rubbed off the shade. I absolutely love this product. I kind of forgot how much I liked it. I've been trying to switch up things that I use. I get really in like a rut of just using the same stuff. I feel like everyone has just been feeling very, very weird lately. And I always kind of mean to make videos talking about like mental health and stuff like that and kind of how I'm feeling. But, but I'm always kind of in two minds about like even talking about stuff like this because part of me wants my videos to be like an escapism and light. I wouldn't say I'm like super high energy, really positive anyway, but it's almost like to me, I feel like focusing on it makes me focus on it if that makes sense but then on the other hand i think a lot of you are young girls boys young people who are probably going through the same thing and maybe it is kind of comforting to see somebody assume wouldn't go through that stuff because i look at other people and i think there's no way that people feel the way that i do um but of course they do i think we live in a really weird time i think social media is just like the most bizarre thing ever and i also think when it becomes your job it's like it's almost one of those things it's an unspoken rule that you just cannot moan about social media being your job and i would never complain about it I love it, I'm super grateful. I do think there are pros and cons of everything. There's certain things that with every job, like tattooing again, I would never moan about it, but it's fucked my back, you know? And that's okay, that's valid. Even if you have the best job in the world, you're allowed to have things that you struggle with, and I think that's absolutely fine. So for me, it's kind of when I'm feeling not 100%, the thought of like a high definition camera in my face, or even just like talking to a camera, is the last thing that I wanna do. So I think I'm really between that balance at the moment of like, pushing myself to do it because sometimes when I do it I do feel better at the end but also learn when I'm not going to feel better for doing it because there's been so many times that I've like sat down to film and I'm just so in the wrong headspace for it I scrap it I feel awful the day just feels like bad from then on but those are the things obviously that nobody sees like I don't show that side of things I only show the good stuff and only show the highlights of life and I don't kind of do that in like a conscious way of pretending that nothing bad ever happens but it's almost like I just don't feel like people want to see that if that makes sense but it doesn't mean it's not happening you feel like nobody else feels like you I think everybody goes through this shit so right, I'm gonna do some concealer this is the YSL all hours this is a very underrated concealer in my opinion I need to get a new one actually it's very dry I think I'm getting to a point of trying to learn like when my body is getting burnt out before it gets to it I've honestly always been like this even when I was little I just I overthink I get really in my head about things honestly I don't really want that to change I think sometimes you feel like oh my god I wish I didn't feel this way and I wish I was just like normal and I didn't overthink everything. A lot of the time I think that's why people are good at what they do and that's why, you know, it's why I care a lot and it's why I'm good at my job, it's why I can put a lot of attention into things and into people. If I didn't have that I would probably live a very different life. Where it feels kind of frustrating and I feel like I can't ever switch my brain off. The alternative, I don't know that I want that either. Yeah, I'm just trying to find like a balance at the moment. Not putting all of my energy into work and actually taking time to do things that I enjoy. Also trying to not be on my phone, which I know sounds so simple. Trying to just simplify my life. I feel like I almost just need to strip like everything back to basics. It needs to be like this is when I'm working, this is when I'm relaxing, do things that you enjoy. I've bought some colouring books on Amazon, you know, that's that's a very specific rock bottom situation. Chill, just chill girl. Like not everything is super dramatic. And I do feel like this industry sometimes makes you feel like that. It's very fast, fast and you've got to be on top of everything and very current with things. And I think luckily my content has never been too like trend driven. I'm not fast, constantly trying new products. I am kind of just doing 
what I want to do, which I think really helps me in that respect. But I think the industry in general just is a little bit, like, people cannot get enough. Like even if you are posting every single day, it still never feels like you're doing enough. I tell myself all the time, like really, it does not matter. Like if you want to just go for a walk today and you just want to chill out and you don't want to film a video, the world is not going to fall apart. Like it's really not. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to find a good balance at the moment. You know, it's like coming to the end of the year as well. I think a lot of people get quite burnt out at this time of the year, especially this year. It's been crazy. It's been literally nonstop and I'm so grateful for it. And I'm, I've had the best year ever, but I think it gets to a point. It does kind of take a bit of a toll. This time of year, you start slowing down. I go to Australia next week for the end of the year. So I think I've just been trying to like really crazy wrap things up and I think it's just all got a bit too much. My little brain is frazzled. We're doing well, everything's fine. But yeah, I think it does feel, it does feel a lot of the time like nobody else feels the way that you do. Like I look at other people and I'm like, they just always seem so happy and there's no way that they're feeling this way and I bet they're not sitting there stressing about stupid things. And actually my boyfriend was like, well, no one thinks that about you because you don't say anything about it. And I was like, that's loud. Right, let's do some bleach brows and forget about our woes. So what I did before, which worked pretty well, I made a little concoction of concealer and I mixed it with the Glossier Cloud Paint. This is the one that was just stuck to my face. So I'm gonna take the one size concealer in medium four and I didn't make enough of this mixture last time. So I'm gonna do quite a bit. Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. So this is like a really peachy orange. You kind of need to neutralize the brow hair. My brows aren't too dark at the moment. Like I said, I haven't uh, dyed them in a while so I could film this. I was actually gonna dye them this morning and then I thought, no, if you're gonna do a bleach brow, keep them nice and light. So I'm just mixing those two together and you get this sort of peachy, almost like corrector shade. If you have a corrector, that would work really well, but I don't for some reason. Just saturating this little spoolie in it. And then I'm just gonna go straight in and I'm kind of just gonna cover them. It will look a bit crazy at first, but you just want to get it all through that hair. And then just taking a sponge, I'm going to sort of pat that in just so the excess is blended out. Just brushing that all the way through. I'm just going to do the other side really quick and I'm going to sort of leave them to sit just so the concealer dries down and gets through all the hair. And then what I did last time was I like set and then went back in with the concealer. So I think the two layers is what really makes it work. I haven't set my face at all yet, so I'm gonna do it all. I would literally love to bleach my brows and I've thought about it so many times, but my brows are so frizzy. You can actually tell when I like cover them, how coarse they are. I think they would honestly just fall out. They'd be like, mm, no. Also the regrowth, like I feel like not enough people talk about when you bleach your brows, like the regrowth that comes in. That's bad, that's very bad. I feel like I have to bleach my brows one day. It's like a rite of passage, but I just wanna do it for like a shoot or for like one day. I'm gonna take a bit of concealer on that sponge and just pat around the brows. Just make sure I haven't got any like big lumps of product anywhere. I'm actually gonna lighten up underneath my eyes a little bit with the Cossas Concealer. This is the shade 02W. Brighten that up a bit. I want everything to be quite bright. I love with a bleached brow that just like opens your face up so much. So I wanna keep everything nice and bright around there. This is also a beautiful concealer. The Cossas base products are stunning. I need to go like minis makeup shopping. Like I said, I'm going to Australia in literally a week tomorrow. You like book something so long ago and it feels like it's never gonna come round and then all of a sudden you're like, oh shit. But I remember doing this with Thailand. I took loads of stuff and A, I didn't wear any of it and B, after like three days, everything was too light for me. I had to go out and buy like more makeup in Sephora. Um, and obviously it's summer in Australia, which I actually can't even comprehend that because it's so cold here. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. So as soon as I get in the sun, I just get tanned very quickly. So I, I'm not even gonna bother taking too much base stuff. And I'm actually so excited to be going somewhere and just like chilling, almost kind of like living there. Normally when I go away, it's like for a trip or, you know, you've got to make a little bit more effort with how you look, but it's so nice just going away with like family and being able to just be super chill. It's going to be so nice. Just setting everything with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm also just going to pat that onto my brows. The Rare Beauty powder in ivory for the rest of my face. I absolutely love this as you can See, I take some of that Cossas concealer and run that through my brows. I know um, Sensorium do that bleach brow product. I need to buy that every time I do this. I'm like, I really need that. Cause I always feel like this is just such a process. It's fine going in with a lighter concealer at the end, just sort of brings the hairs back. So you still look like brows. Like you don't look like you have no brows. You just want to look like your brows are bleached, if that makes sense. And then just setting them with a really light powder. This is the Maybelline Superstay. 
Now, I'm gonna warm up my skin a little bit. I actually don't think I'm gonna do any bronzer, which is a bit crazy, but I'm a bit crazy like that sometimes. And I'm gonna take the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm Edge. I love this so much. I wanna go quite blushy. I've been looking at a lot of sort of like winter skin, cold girl makeup looks recently. And something about loads of blush and a grungy eye that just shouldn't work so well, but it just looks so good. I actually love it like this, just really blushy, clean skin and pretty much like nothing. But I've got a really nice eye palette to use, so best believe we're doing the eyes. This is pretty much that Kylie Jenner look that I've just have like imprinted in my brain forever. I think it was for her blush launch. And she had like a bleach brow, loads of blush and pretty much nothing else and it just looked... Okay, these are the palettes I was talking about. They are literally insane. Brand new from Dior. These are part of their new Christmas collection. These are from the new Celestial part of the Christmas campaign. There's also that gloss on Earth, which we'll get to her in due time. Face palette with these gorgeous, super shimmery, beautiful highlights. And then the eye palette. This is actually to die for. I used this for the first time the other night. I'm wildly obsessed with it and I'm actually going to take a little bit of this pink here It's like a really nice cool undertone pink and I'm just gonna pop that on the high points I mean look at that. This is literally natural lighting as well down my nose too I like to bring the highlight kind of Around the temple this blue highlight as well is incredible I used a mixture of this and the white one the other night and oh my god It was like snowy ice queen now going on to eyes I think I'm gonna keep it fairly simple because We've got quite a lot going on. It's just incredible. I'm also so drawn to this blue here. Also, this navy is gorgeous. Why are they all so nice? I just know that silver was insane, so I'm going to use that. This is the satin silver in the bottom corner, and I'm basically just going to run that all across my eyelid. I mean, look at that. I find some silver shadows have just got too much, like, dark grey or even black in them, and they just go a bit muddy and too dark. But this is, like, perfect. It's so icy. I used it the other night as, like, a topper over a darker shadow just in the center and it was insane. I'm just gonna pat that all over. Dior Beauty really has like quickly become one of my favorites, especially from the like high-end beauty round. I'd say that and probably Prada Beauty are like my two absolute favorites. A little black smoky wings. I'm gonna take the Makeup by Mario Master Matte palette and I'm just gonna take the black shade from here. On a little Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes brush, this is the number 14. It's like my most used brush ever. And just keeping it close to the lash line. When you go about that far, I never really take my liner into there. Just keeps everything sort of outer corner and very like elongating. This is honestly the best way to do a winged liner, especially if you're not really confident with liquid liner. If you do this first with a brown eyeshadow and then go over it with a liquid liner, you just feel like your shape is mapped out. You have a little bit more control. I just love how soft it looks with an eyeshadow rather than a liquid. And then I'm going to take the Dior eyeliner in the shade 099 Black and I'm going to run that in my waterline. I feel like my makeup is separating here again. I just cannot use a new primer. This is the last new primer I'll ever try. Honestly, I'm sick of it. Especially like a gluey primer, it just does not agree with my skin at all. The eyes look good though. The eyes will never let me down, that's one thing. Pop some mascara on. I have fallen back in love with this recently. This is the Lancome Lash Idol. Idol? Idol? Whatever. It just lengthens my lashes like so much. I forgot how much I love it, I think, because I've had it for a while now as well. It's like dried out to the perfect... Like, I know if I bought a new one of these, I just wouldn't love it as much as I do right now. Like, it's so, so good right now. Okay, before we finish off with lips, I'm going to take that same Maybelline powder and I'm just going to brighten up underneath my eyes with that. I like to do this at the end of my makeup. It just kind of, like, ties everything together and just gives you that, like, super, super bright finish. You know, I definitely like that primer more than the other gluey one I tried. Um, I think if you're into really, like, gluey, sticky primers, you would like it. I just feel like my skin just feels dry and it just doesn't look very nice. Maybe I just don't like this style of makeup that much, but I'm gonna use some of the Half Magic Dew Lock setting spray. This is a hydrating setting spray. I feel like my skin is just like feeling super dry, which must be from that primer because everything else I use like all the time and my skin never feels like this. Maybe I'm being too critical because it doesn't look bad, but you know, it just like doesn't feel like your skin. It's a bit creepy. Just got lips to go and then we're done. So I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Plumping Lip Liner. This is the shade Toffee. I'm so obsessed with this colour. I actually like Tingle, which is insane for a lip pencil. I don't understand the science behind it. Just shading in the edges and when these dry down, like they do not move. So if you want to blend them, you have to like already that's kind of not blending, but that's fine. I don't think I've ever had a lip liner last as long as these. Like they're not even marketed as being like long lasted. They're marketed as being plumping. I've worn them to work, eaten, come home. Usually I get home from work, I look in the mirror and I'm like, what on earth has happened to me at work? Like my makeup is gone. 
and that will seal me on. So I'm gonna finish off with the Dior lip gloss. This is the shade 072. I'm obsessed with this. It's like this gray, purpley, super beautiful, like fairy dust lip gloss. And I'm gonna put that all over. I actually quite like the harsh edges. We've gone very editorial today, which wasn't really my plan, but I'm into it. I will simply scream from the rooftops that makeup is supposed to be fun and it's supposed to make you feel different. And if you don't want to wear this makeup to the shops, I respect that. But if you do, I respect that more. Um, this has got these tiny little specks of glitter in it. This one's also plumping. Uh, I wore this out the other night and it was so cold and when the air hit my lips I was like, oh! A great lip really can just save your makeup, like I was hating that pretty hard for a second there. I feel like we're good, I feel like we've pulled out the bag. I have loads of lip combos in my notes app, <laughs> I'm gonna add that one to it. So easy to forget I have like a million lip liners and different things. So when the stars align, I have to remember it and that is going on the list. There we go, that is the finished look for today's video, I hope you enjoyed this. I love this look, it feels very wintry, it's very fun, my lips are very numb. It's a poem. And just like that, it has started to rain. What did I say? I knew it, it can't be sunny for longer than like 20 minutes in this country. There we go. That is the finished look for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being here as always. All the products that I've used will be linked in the description box down below. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you are, and I will see you very soon. Love you.